All right, welcome. This is Unofficial Community Game 2023-3. The players for this game, the Axis powers are General Gwyn, Lord of Cinder, as Germany and Ma Win as Japan. Stevie Mac is playing Russia. Odd Job is playing as the UK, and myself, Cobra, is playing as the United States. So, without further ado, let's get right into the gameplay. All right, United States round number one. So, Russia had a decent round one. And then Germany's round one was kind of mixed. He, uh, they had a draw in C-Zone 7, which allowed UK to put a fleet down, which is good for us. But he took out the transport and the destroyer in C-Zone 10. Which means I got to clean up the sub in C-Zone 10. And then and we've decided we're doing a KJ, KGF standard. So the idea is that I need to start a Finland or Norway shuck going. So I'd like to get my tr my stuff over to Greenland this turn, but I think it's going to take us a couple turns anyway to get this squared away, so I'm going to take Morocco this turn. So my buy was two artilleries, two transports, an aircraft carrier, and a sub. The sub is going to go here on the west coast just to piss off the Japanese and see if I can't be annoying. I'm going to try to maintain a small uh, USA fleet presence here in the in the Pacific, if I can. So for the combat, we're first we're gonna do is we're gonna kill this. All right, we're going to kill that. Let's see here, one, two, three. Oh, so he can go back there and kill it with that if he decides to do that. All right, we're going to be uh, cheeky. I'm going to grab this with one guy. Again, just to cause an annoyance for Japan here. And we're going to take Morocco. And we're going to kill our submarine buddy here. And that's all we're gonna do for USA. Our Szechuan fighter will move down to India. And our cruiser will go up there to 11 to get ready for, oh yeah, one, one thing we do have to do is move a couple of these guys, one guy actually over here and we're also going to back this guy out just to protect Alaska in case he decides to drop guys here uh, we'll have something to hit it back with so let's do that All right, I think that's it for the combat alright here we go All right, well, it was a good thing that we took the bomber here in C-Zone 10, because that's the only thing that hit. So our fighters are going to go... Let's see. One to Western United States and one to Central United States. Our cruiser is going to go to C-Zone 11. Uh, one fighter will go to season 11 and our bomber will go to England. Just double checking that those transports are okay. Not that it matters now because he could have killed him if he had a bomber, which I double checked. He did not have a bomber. And because we took Morocco, we're okay as far as this goes. 
All right. Oh, yeah, I got to move. So this is what we're going to do for Alaska. We're going to back one guy off to Canada. We're going to move one guy up from Western, and we're going to move one guy over. So these guys here can be picked up by the transports and get re getting ready to shuck them up there. And I'll leave my transport here for now just in case we want to uh, utilize it later, depending on what Japan does here. Let's see, this bomber here, one, two, three, okay, no, our transport's going to have to go over here. One, two, three, four, five, all right. All right, so our transport is out of the way. Let's see here, one. Actually, we can probably move our transport right here to 55. Let me, let's move it to, let's move to 19 as if we're gonna move it out of here. Just to give the impression that we're leaving the Pacific. All right, I think that's everything. All right, so our aircraft carrier goes in 11, two transports in 11, submarine in 56, two artilleries on the east coast of America. All right. All right, that does it for USA round number one. Looking at the board, I think Russia here could hammer Karelia and that would set Germany back significantly because he'd lose a lot of infantry and armor and if we can start landing as soon as possible here to cut down on his income then that would be a, a good squeeze on Germany ah oh, fuck me I forgot to move my shit in Szechuan which really sucks because now I'm going to lose that stuff Man. All right, well, sometimes that happens. Unfortunately, it happened to me this turn, so. All right, that's it for round one for USA. I'll see you guys back for round two. All right, United States round number two. So the state of the board, I think the allies, we've done uh, a pretty decent job so far. Japan is starting to look scary even in round two. But, oh, he moved into, into uh, Archangel. Yeah, so that's kind of rough on Russia. I don't know if he can kick that out. Maybe not. I think he might have to, though. All right, we're going to see what we can do there. So, our purchases, we're going to try to set up the, uh, the Norway invasion for round three. We bought two more transports, a destroyer, a submarine, two infantry, and two artillery. The sub's going to go over here in the west coast. Like I said, I'm just going to try to be a pain in the ass for Japan. So, if I can build up a supply of subs and maybe some fighters or a bomber or two, we can start going after... Uh, Japan. We're going to have to do something to do some pressure on them. So for the combat, we're going to take Algeria and go back. And then we're going to take one guy And we're going to go up to C-Zone 8, take Northwestern. That will prevent the four or the three fighters from Karelia from being able to hit the UK fleet. We're also going to do something I probably shouldn't do. 
but I really would like to get Germany to focus more on the back end of their defense and leave get Russia some breathing room so I'm gonna sack a transport this turn and I'm gonna take Italy I know I'm gonna lose all that stuff but I've already replaced them with the two transports and so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll also have this transport in here so we'll have three transports ready to go next round I was initially going to leave this transport in the Pacific, but I think just given the state of the board, I think I need to get more uh, going here. And then we're going to we're going to bomb Karelia, so he can't. Uh, so he has to at least what's his money? Germany's money. He's got a lot of money. Forty-one. I'm not really sure that's going to do much by bombing it. Maybe I don't want to bomb it. Hmm. Well, any money we can take away from him will be good because we're going to steal this industrial, this factory. If we can bomb the shit out of this factory, then all of his units will have to be spent in Russia. I mean, in uh, Germany. So we're going to risk that, hopefully. I'm not too good at bombing raids, but you never know. So we'll do that, and then we'll move our, shuffle our troops around, get ready for the, the Scandinavian shuck here. And so let's get to it. I have had absolute shit luck with bombers lately. Absolute shit luck. Now against me, they seem to bomb the fuck out of me, but um, I just can't seem to get any bombers to survive. So that worked out shitty. All right, let's take this stuff here. Move a fighter up there. Move this fighter over there. We're going to send this fighter down here. We're going to send these two artilleries and these two infantries up to Greenland. We'll move these two infantries. over to Canada eh, maybe not maybe we'll leave them there we'll move our over to 55 I'm just wondering about the transport here again if I move it there I can go there pick them up and go there yeah let's do that so let's move these guys over here and then we can use this transport next turn to pick them up and go up there so all right looks like that's it for the non-com All right, our two transports and our destroyer go into C Zone 11, submarine into 56, two infantry and two artillery into east coast of United States. And that, my friends, will conclude United States round number two. Um, kind of shitty just because we lost the bomber, but other than that, um, we're, we want to tighten as much of the noose as we can around Germany here to get them to try to back off because this is not good for us. And Japan is definitely coming. But as long as they're doing this, they're not going towards India, so we may keep India for a few more turns. And 
And hopefully we can help fight this off in Africa. Although he's going to lose. Well, he'll move this fighter this turn. All right. I will see you guys back for round number three. All right, United States round number three. So the state of the board, Japan is making a decent push towards Moscow. Moscow is being surrounded by Germany as well. Germany has a nice presence in Karelia. And in on their front here in Ukraine and Bello, they got a nice, uh, a nice front here. They've also pushed into Africa and they're going to start taking all of this, which we need to stop from happening. So we're going to be sending troops down to Africa to prevent that. Or at least take some of it back. And we got to establish the shuck. We're pretty good as far as transports goes. We're almost locked down logistically, which where I want it to be as far as USA goes. This turn we bought three more transports, three artilleries and four infantry. Because we have to send one of these transports down to Africa to... Uh, reinforce this so initially I thought I was gonna just land four troops in Norway because then we'll land another four next turn but I think given the fact that there's only two guys in France and he's got only two fighters that can attack C zone 8 as long as we take France I think I'm gonna hit France with this stuff here uh, and this guy here and a couple of and a plane and a bombardment and see if we can't take France for one more turn we'll take Norway France and we'll try to take uh, Algeria and then we'll logistically get the uh, the shuck established one thing I hate to do is risk tanks for infantry but I'm gonna do it here in Algeria just because he's pressing this way and if we kill this he's either gonna have to move some of the stuff back to keep us from sweeping through here uh, or it'll give us an opportunity to get some of the stuff back for England so we need to keep that money for England as much as possible because it looks like Japan's either gonna go over here and take Madagascar next turn although he's he's empty uh, he but he can pick up a guy from Australia here but he'll probably wait a turn and take Australia or he'll just pick up one guy and put it in Madagascar because that's always tough to take back for the allies once they lose it. We'll bring the battleship over here to support and we'll leave the destroyer and the subs. We'll move them around a little bit. Maybe we can catch a uh, transport off guard. All right, so let's go doing the combat. So the first things first, we're going to attack this with this. We're going to take this. We're going to take one of those. One of those. One of those. Hit France. Bombard France. Use one fighter. We're going to send the other fighter into Moscow to defend. So we'll have two fighters. We'll fly this fighter over here to C-Zone 8, and we'll send one of the fighters to Moscow. But in, because in doing that, we're only going to be able to attack with one fighter here. All right, so we'll take the other stuff. Go to C-Zone 3, land it in Norway. So we have three battles, it looks like. Norway, okay. All right, that looks like all the battles we're going to do with America. So fingers crossed, let's run them and see how they, how they do. Okay, the combat worked out really well for us. So we only lost one guy in taking France. And we did not lose the tank. And we were able to take Algeria without losing the tank. So we were able to push forward there. 
We're going to bring the aircraft carrier down here to C Zone 8. Land that fighter there. Land that fighter there. This fighter is going to Moscow. All right, now for Africa defense. One of these, and one of these is going down to 23 and dropping in French West Africa. All right, so then the other guy One of those, dropping Greenland. This transport's going to C Zone 10, picking up these two guys. And going up to Greenland and dropping them off there. Our battleship is going into Sea Zone 18. Our destroyer is going to 65. One sub's going to go to 65. The other one's going to go to 64. He'll move this most likely, but if he doesn't, we're going to snake it. So uh, we do want to get him thinking about his main homeland, though. Let's see what else. Okay, yeah, this destroyer here, we're going to put it in Sea Zone 9. So then we can either throw it up in three, we can throw it over to eight, we can throw it down in 13. If he moves a plane in range of our transport here, we can throw it down here to guard. So we are going to be able to hopefully defend. Our C zone three defense is fine. Uh, and our C zone eight defense right now is pretty good. Um, I don't think, I, I think he's going to take France back because he was going to anyway. He was just going to stack it, keep stacking it. But it's going to cost him some troops. And maybe he won't be able to put a full stack in there in round four. As long as we can keep getting him focused on the back end, maybe he'll pull some of this off of Russia. Maybe. All right, that looks like... That's going to do it for America's turn. All right, I'm going to check the board out here. Yeah. Okay, this transport here, where did it end up going? Wait a minute, there's a transport here. Oh yeah, one of those transports has to get out of there. We'll send it here. So at the end of this turn, we'll have two transports here. Two transports here. And two transports in, actually three transports in 11. So our, our shuck will be, be moving. We'll have one transport here in C Zone 8. All right, I think that's it. One last double check. And that transport is moving out of there, right? All right. C zone two is gonna have two transports. C zone eight has one. C zone three should have two. Okay, I think we're good. All right. 
We're going to put our three transports in C zone 11, three artilleries, three infantries, and throw one infantry over on the west coast. All right, so we're pretty well set up now with the, uh, we can drop at least four turns, I'm sorry, four troops every turn uh, into either France, Northwestern, or Norway. Next turn, we have 51 IPC, so next turn we'll probably throw an IC in Norway to start pumping troops out in there, and we'll just keep Focus on taking Africa back for England and squeezing Germany as much as we can. So anyway, that is going to be the it, the end of round number three for America. And I will see you guys back for round number four. All right, USA round number four. So the state of the board, I think it's pretty even right now. So we're not going to be able to crack France. But he abandoned Karelia, so we're going to be able to stack Finland and push into Karelia pretty soon. I think Stevie said we have a 59% chance, or actually Germany has a 59% chance to take Russia, which is not, not good. But if he decides not to take those odds, then we will be around to defend. I... I went ahead and bought, so my, the shuck is almost in full swing. After this turn, I'm going to have three transports every single turn dropping in Finland. And so that'll be six units for the United States every single turn, which will be pretty potent if we can hang out in that long. Japan's not protecting his transports here or here. Probably because he's going to take India. I haven't done the math, but I think he's going to take India, and there's no nothing I can do to help defend India. I am going to move it forward to try to push Germany out of Africa, and we're going to add more troops, more American troops out of, into Africa this turn. So he's got an infantry on this transport here that's probably going to take Madagascar. I would love to have... A plane down here somewhere that could take this out but I don't and I don't think I will so we're probably gonna lose Madagascar not sure but we don't have a lot of attacks to do for America this turn next turns another story we can probably hit Northwestern France or even Germany Germany's lightly defended right now I don't think he'll keep it that way but Germany, once we have a decent stack here for United, I'm sorry, UK and myself, we should be able to one, two, and we might even be able to take Germany. We'll have to calculate that. But anyway, for the combat move, all we're going to do is blitz uh, Libya and then go back. We're just going to take this back for UK. And I think that's it. Thought about attacking Japan, getting uh, Kazakh out of there just to get him off his back, but I don't have any infantry in the area yet, so I don't want to risk a plane on that. And that looks like all we can really do as far as our combat. So that's what we're going to do. All right, for the non-com... We're going to grab, we're going to move these guys forward. We're going to grab one artillery, one infantry. Go down to 23 with one transport. Drop those guys in French West. Oh, let's see here. This, tra this plane can go one, two, three, four. This plane is just a plane, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, no. No, I think we're safe from the plane in Egypt. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think our transport's going to be safe here. All right, so 
We'll move these guys forward into Finland. We'll move these transports here. We'll take this. And this. Go back here and drop those troops into Finland. We will take these troops up to Greenland. We'll take our two transports and put them back in season 11. Take our single transport from here and put it back in season 11. Take our transport from Sea Zone 8, put it up to Sea Zone 2, and we're going to move our fleet up to Sea Zone 3. I'm going to move our battleship up to Sea Zone 9. We're going to move one sub over to 63. We're going to move the other sub over to 52. And we're going to move the destroyer we'll move the destroyer down to Hawaii. All right, is there anything else I need to move? Anything else I need to move. Next turn we'll have enough Navy here where I can throw both my fighters into Moscow. Which will be nice. And all my United States troops into Karelia, which will be nice also. Alright, I think that's going to do it for United States' turn. Do we have any map nodes? No. Alright. Alright. We're going to throw the industrial complex up in Norway. We're going to throw three infantries, three artilleries, and the fighter in the western United States. We're going to throw one of the artilleries over there in the east in the western United States. And I think I'm pretty sure we're good. Now Germany may well, we'll see what Germany is going to do. Germany may decide to bounce back up to Karelia, and I don't think we can we can hit it, but we may be able to just to dead zone it so that well, he's going to dead zone it eventually. We'll see what happens, but I think that's all we can do as America. I think that's pretty much all we can do as America. But I think all in all, it's a pretty close game. So that will do it for America round four. I'll see you guys back for round number five. All right, round five for United States. So the state of the board, Russia's got a little bit of breathing room to the north. We're going to have to add to England's troops here in Karelia. And Russia's going to have to take West Russia before uh, Germany moves to keep these eight tanks out of there. If he wants to attack all of our stuff here with one tank and all of his planes, then so be it. we got to figure out a way to get Japan off of uh, Russia's back door here. Somehow. And we got to kick Germany out of Africa. So, this turn... Rather than sending this transport back to help to uh, get the logistics of the Finland chuck going more, 
Or we're just going to buy another uh, transport to replace this one, and we're going to use this to move troops around. So our buy for this turn was one extra transport, five infantry, three artillery, and a plane. All right. The two infantry are going into Norway. Three artillery and three infantry are going into eastern United States to participate in the in the shuck. The plane is also going in the eastern United States and the extra transport, like because like I said, we're not returning this one. So we're going to end up with two transports here at the end of the turn before we mobilize. And as such, we want to have three each in 3, 2, and 11. So the combat move is going to be really light. We thought I thought about doing this again, but I don't want to, if I don't kill it, have him just move one troop and take these back. So I'm going to leave that there until these troops can circle around. So we're going to move these troops down here. We're going to pick up those guys, go to 24 and drop them in uh, Belgian Congo. Right, so we're going to have Belgian Congo and we're also going to be able to threaten these troops here. The one thing here is this Japanese transport, which I believe is a really smart move by the Axis to put a Japanese uh, transport. I mean bomber. Japanese bomber here. Because he can threaten 10 and 2, and so we have to defend these. Now, England can just move this one out of the way because he moves before Japan, but I have to defend my transports in C-Zone 2. So... That's going to be it for the American combat. Really nothing else I can do as far as combat goes at this time, so I'm not going to do anything else. This bomber here can kill uh, my transport in 24. Then he's either going to have to leave it in Africa someplace, either with these German troops here in Rhodesia, which is fine, it defends at a 1, so we can still attack this anyway. Or in South Africa, we can attack it with uh, and risk nothing. So I'm not sure if he's going to risk his bomber in Africa just to take out one transport. But you, you never know. Maybe he will. But if that's the case, then it moves it out of range of our shuck here. So that's fine, too. So that's all we're going to do as far as combat. Alright, for the non-combat move, we're going to take this fighter here and we're going to throw him in Africa. We're going to take our battleship and one destroyer and cover Sea Zone 2. We're going to take one fighter. Put it in Moscow to help with defense. We're going to take four infantry and two artilleries and move them into Karelia. We're going to take two transports, go here. Load those, load these infantries. Okay, well, why isn't he? He's loaded. All right, come back here and drop them in Finland. We're going to move one transport. So we'll have three in C Zone 3. We're going to take our three guys here and our three guys here. Take them up to C Zone 2, drop them in Greenland. We're going to take our two transports and take them down here to C Zone 11. Right? All right. We are going to move this sub over to C Zone 64 just to keep him out of range of this fleet here. And I 
think that's going to be it for the non-combat move. Yep, I think that's going to be it for the non-com. All right. Because those are protected. He's going to move that one. These are protected. Another plane in Moscow. Plane in Africa. All right. I think we're good. All right. Two infantry in Norway. Three infantry, three artillery, and a transport, and a fighter in the eastern United States. Right? All right. I think we're good. He has no air support here. Germany has no air supports. If he wants to attack that with this, eh, it's probably a 50-50 I haven't run the numbers on it, but I kind of like my odds on that. We'll see. He may spread out his defenses here, or he may... I don't know what he's going to do. He may attack it, but I think we'll be okay. All right. That's going to do it for round number five for USA. I'll see you guys back for round six. Okay, round number six for the United States. So the state of the board, it looks like uh, we're going to be contesting Africa for quite a bit. Uh, Japan provided support, but in my opinion, as long as Japan is spending time and resources trying to support Germany and Africa, they're not setting up for an India assault. I did the math on it. It looks like India is totally fine. At the moment, Russia is totally fine. But we do need to get them some more income as well. And I got to get some more troops into Africa. So unfortunately, I had to divert some of my funds. So this turn, we did buy an extra transport. So we're sending one more transport to Africa. We bought seven infantry, two artilleries, and a tank. One tank and artillery is going to go up in Norway. I just want to get a little armor into the north to uh, support our invasion up there. And then the rest of it's going to be ready to load four transports. We can either send them up north or we can send one or two of them down to Africa, depending on uh, our needs. We can shuffle our fighters around. We're actually going to send our fighters to Africa as well this turn. So we can start making a push here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this and go back. We are going to take two of these guys and our American fighters here. I'm going to take Northwestern Russia. And that's pretty much all we're going to attack. We're going to let England bounce down here and take that back for himself. So we can keep this locked. And we're going to get some troops this turn over into Archangel so we can start trading and support Russia. Either send the troops to Russia, trade West Russia, or push East and get some income back for Russia. So that's the idea. And we're also going to send some support ships down here to Africa to help protect our transport so we don't just give it away for nothing. But I'm thinking that's all of the combat we're going to do with America. This is important. We need to take this. So hopefully we can get it. Let's do that. We got it. <clears throat> So we're going to take our fighter here and throw it into uh, Belgian Congo to support these troops here. We are going to take 
one of those and an infantry land him in Africa take this fighter landed in Africa take this fighter landed in Africa take our battleship down to sea zone 13 our destroyer down to sea zone 13 our fighters will go back to Russia we're gonna move two artillery and two infantry over to Archangel we're gonna move everyone else forward We are going to take these three transports. Go over there, pick up our troops. Go back here. Wait a minute. And drop our stuff in Finland. We're going to take our cruiser. Move it over to Sea Zone 2. And that's really because we're going to send it down here to 13. If we decide to keep sending transports. Because right now he only has a bomber. And one fighter in range of 13. And it's about an 18% battle. If he wants to take that battle and lose his bomber and fighter... So be it. I shouldn't have done, said that because I said it last time and he went ahead and did it. So, um, But I don't know if he'll do that again. And then we will take our two artillery, two infantry, go up to sea zone two, drop them in Greenland. That's it. I think that's it. Let's move over here to the Pacific and just double check. Let's move this over here. All right. I think that's all we need to do this turn. Map nodes are gone. All right. We got the plane in there. We got the plane to. Let's see here. Where's our other planes? Let's just double check and make sure we moved everything here. Okay, I think we did. All right. And we screwed up. We forgot to move our transports from here down to America. So that was no bueno. And I hate it when I do that stuff. I really hate it when I do that stuff. That was a huge blunder. That was a huge blunder. It's going to set us back a whole nother turn. Maybe they'll think we're going to make a play for France or something. Maybe we'll make a play for France or something. I don't know. But that was a huge mistake.
All right, that is going to conclude America round number six, and I will see you guys back for round number seven. All right, USA round seven. So there's a lot of moving parts here. Moscow is in pretty dire straits right now. We're doing okay with getting material here, UK and USA. And we're doing okay kicking out the Axis out of Africa. He moved into C-Zone 59, which is a threat. I'm going to address that uh, with his turn because I messed up last time and I delayed my shuck. I'm going to have to set up for next turn. So I'm going to be a turn behind and getting more troops into Scandinavia. But our purchase was seven guys and two bombers. The two bombers ought to take care of this threat from this fleet right here. We'll shuffle this, these ships around uh, in the non-com phase. So for the combat move, we are going to take one infantry and one artillery. Try to take Bellow. We're going to take an infantry and an artillery. And two fighters. And try to take Western Russia. That's what we're going to take right there. Down here in Africa, we're going to take one guy and one artillery and take uh, Rhodesia back. Thought about taking Egypt, but it doesn't matter because Germany can just take it back before UK gets the money anyway, so UK is not going to be getting the money. We are going to take Northwest Europe, but UK is going to handle that. And these notes here are just to remind me to move my ships and move my troops into position to be in the shuck next turn. So. I gotta double check if that's all the combat we want to do. I think it is. We were gonna push east, but we're gonna use these troops to go into Moscow and protect Moscow. So we'll have to use them. If we can get Moscow safer, then we can push it east, but we can't right now. All right, I think that's going to be it. All right, so let's go to combat. Quick look at the map notes. Northwestern Europe is going to be dealt with by UK. Okay. All right, let's go to combat. Okay, combat was effective as we thought. So, our two fighters go back to Moscow. Our units in Archangel go into Moscow. Our Karelia troops move forward. All right, we'll shuffle this around in a minute. One of our fighters is going to go down here. This fighter is going to go to India. These guys are going to move up. Our fighter is going to move up. take our fighter we'll take one fighter and move it down here we'll take one fighter over to French West Africa because we're gonna take T 
two infantry take them down to French West Africa. See if the if the fighter was here, it could go one, two, three. It still can't get to Russia, so having it here or having it here is is six of one and half a dozen of the other. So that doesn't matter. So now that that transport, okay, that transport left. These six guys, or four and two, are going to move up to Canada. All right. We're gonna move our destroyer and our battleship here. Even though he only has one plane here, that's because UK is gonna move a transport and some of its fleets down to sea zone eight to protect, uh, to attack Northwestern. So we wanna be able to protect that. All right, two of these transports. We're gonna go here, we're gonna pick up these guys. I'm going to go back here and drop them in Finland. All right. What do I got? Four and two, so six. So I really only need three transports there. So let me do that. Let me do... Put three transports there. I'll send this transport. And this transport. I can send that back to 10. So I'm going to have two here already. So this will be fine. Now let's move the AA gun up there. Maybe we'll take the AA gun over there as well in Finland next turn. We'll move the cruiser. C zone three. Actually, no. We'll move the cruiser down to C zone eight. Nothing can hit C zone three right now. And we'll take our aircraft carrier, move it down to three as well. All right. All right, so that we did. And that we did. Did we send the fighter over there? We did. So. All right. Japan is roughly two turns from taking India, so I'm going to put my USA fighter here just for one turn to bounce him up to Moscow next turn. All right. All right, let's go over here. Let's shuffle our stuff around. So let's take this sub and move it there. This sub and move it here. We'll take our destroyer and move it to 57 because we're going to put two bombers in C zone 10. If he takes out the destroyer in 57, we'll hammer it and kill whatever he takes it with. 
or we may need, we may not. We'll just do the. Uh, it depends. He want, if he wants to lose a destroyer, to take out a destroyer, then so be it. What do I have here? I will buy a sub. Yeah, I did not buy a sub because I ran out of money. But I already have two, and I'm protecting him with my destroyer, so I should be okay. All right, what else do I need to do? I think that's it. All right, I think that's it. I'm hoping we did everything we needed to do. So let's end the phase here. All right, put our two bombers in the Western United States. We're gonna put one infantry up there in Norway and we're gonna put six in Eastern United States. That my friends will conclude United States round number seven. I'll see you guys back for round eight. All right, United States round number eight. So the state of the board is pretty grim for the allies. Uh, Moscow has about a 97% chance to fall given the current state of the board. So I think our only option is to try to hammer Germany uh, in round nine for a Hail Mary between uh, United Kingdom and myself to try to uh, maybe snag Germany. If we can do that, then we might stay in the game. Uh, or Germany could decide not to attack Moscow and retreat, but I don't think they will. I think they'll just take the battle. Hopefully they lose a lot of their army here. And we're in enough position to hammer Germany here. So, our buy for this turn, because we're going to set that up, was two more bombers, five infantry, and two artilleries. Two bombers are going to go into Norway, and we're going to set up the, the uh, punch of Germany. So, combat moves not going to be that extensive this turn. Uh, like I said, Russia is done, so we're going to move our United States out of Russia. And our plane from Karelia is actually going up here. I'm sorry, it's from India is going up here to hit this. It was going to go into Moscow, but it's going to go in Karelia now, so it can be used in the German offensive. We'll take one guy, try to take Bello cheap. Or if at the very least, just kill this guy. Uh, and then we're going to move we'll to give that back to um, United Kingdom. And we'll go ahead and move forward. Even though... I don't think this is their main focus anymore. All right. All right, regarding our attack here of West Russia, we're going to just attack with the artilleries and the fighter. And then let's see what else. I think that's everything we're going to attack this turn. All right.
All right, so that was kind of terrible for the combat. We were not able to take West Russia. We did take Bello. But we were not able to take uh, West Russia. Since we went light, trying to leave as much material here just to get him to lose more troops as much as possible. So our fighter here is going into Karelia. Uh, our two fighters here are going to go. We'll put them in Karelia as well. We're going to take all of this stuff here and put it into Baltic. We are going to take two of those and two infantry and go into C zone 5 and drop them into Baltic. We're going to take a destroyer into Baltic, a battleship into Baltic. We're going to move these forward into Karelia. All right, we're going to move a guy and a tank back to uh, Morocco because we're going to take these two guys and go up to C-Zone 8 and drop them in Northwest. We're going to take our two artilleries, our four guys, and our AA gun. Take them to C-Zone 8, drop them in Northwest Europe. Our fighter is going to go land on the aircraft carrier there. And our fighter here is going to go up to Algeria. Let's see. Oh, yeah, our two bombers from here are going to go into Norway. And then our transports have to gather. We need to move these six guys up to Canada. And move one transport and two transports there to pick them up. So that should be all of our transports. We did send the battleship, right? We sent a battleship and we sent that destroyer. All right. We'll move our destroyer back to 56. And I think that's going to conclude our non-com phase. All right. Our bombers are going up to Norway. Five guys and two artilleries are going to go into Western, Eastern United States. That's an, this is another mistake here. I should have left a couple of units here because he could attack with the four bombers, the two bombers against four bombers, and kill them. And he probably will not lose any. So I should have left some other defensive units there. So that's yet another mistake that I just made. That's why I wish they had a go back button. But they do not, and so it is what it is. That's going to be the end of round eight for the United States. And I'll see you guys back for round number nine. All right. This is the end of the game. The Axis powers have won. The Allies, myself, Oddjob, and Stevie Mac have decided to forfeit the game after the last 
round. So a couple of observations from this game. I thought after round one, it was anybody's game. It was pretty much a wash. C-Zone 7 was a draw, and it could have been anybody's game, I think, at that point. I don't think either side really had an advantage. But a couple things that we ran into, uh, several blunders by myself. I left the uh, the fighter in Szechuan in round one, didn't move it. Uh, and then, of course, I've already lamented the four bomber placement unguarded in Norway on my last turn. Please don't do that. Do not leave bombers without land unit support to defend in case they get attacked because bombers defending are terrible and then of course i had the one error where i just missed the uh missed the transports going back to 11 to keep the shuck going so it set our shuck back one turn but i think we recovered from that pretty well and actually we were able to mount we eventually kicked the axis pretty much out of africa but by then we just could not mount a defense for russia and japan just motored all the way in. Germany moved pretty quickly across Europe. And although it looks like by the board here that we had made significant dents in Germany, we didn't see any way recovering from this because even if we were to start stacking France, Northwestern, and whatever, um, Germany was just going to be able to motor back and Japan now had an eight unit IC production capability in Russia with a lot of money. So we decided to forfeit, which I think was the appropriate move. Other thoughts, you gotta not let the Axis take control of Africa. Germany with the starting money is bad. Germany with a lot of money is even worse. So you really gotta pay attention to that. And you got to find some way to delay or counterpunch Japan from just moving effortlessly across Asia. They never did take India, but I think it was only like a turn away. But I thought we did a decent job protecting India. But in the end, it just turned out that uh, the Axis rolled. So couple things I learned. I'm still experimenting with the Greenland, the C-Zone 11, 2, 3 uh, troop movement logistics. I think it's probably better just to do the standard Eastern Canada to C-Zone 3, right? So C-Zone 10 and C-Zone 3, once you've established that, it's simply back and forth. And I think that's a lot better and gives you more opportunities either to go to Africa, France, Northwestern or back up to Norway's Scandinavia area. So the better play is probably Canada and C Zone 10. But other than that, uh, it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed playing with these guys. Many thanks to Odd Jobs, Stevie Mac, Gwyn, and Mawin for playing. Uh, I thought they did a great job. And I'm sure we will play again another time. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys back for another video.